Okay, let's hope this phone don't fall over. <laughs> first things first, welcome to Hook Me Up Crochet. My name is Christy, and I have been forever putting off doing a finished objects vlog. So well, I've got a massive pile, and I'm going to try to run through it real quick. But if I look a little distressed, there's a good reason for that. <laughs> I'm at a park, and when I first got here, a race war broke out. And it got pretty ugly. It's, you know, a bunch of youth. And so the cops are here now and they're, you know, they're dealing with it. But you may still hear a little bit of screaming and shouting at times or, you know, noises. Uh, but hopefully I can get through it. All I can do is cry because it just breaks my heart. But anyway, let's see if I can remember and gather my thoughts. And I'm going to need my eyes. Oh, why do I always do that? <laughs> I always mess up. So I really got into Tunisian crochet lately and when I first started out I was just doing the basic Tunisian stitch. I may have to pause the camera. So if it kind of breaks in between you'll know why. The cops may want to come in over here and talk to me. Okay that was pause number one. Uh, the lady just informed me that the police officer will be over here to uh, talk to me since, like I said, I unfortunately witnessed the entire incident from beginning to end, so yay me. Okay, let's just get started. As I was trying to say, I really got into Tunisian crochet. It, it piqued my curiosity, and so I wanted to try my hand at it. And I'm not even going to fake this. I'm really struggling to keep my head on topic. I've been putting off doing the finished objects vlog for so long and I finally pick a day and I drive all the way into the city and you know to the park to, to do this and, and then have some nonsense like this happen anyway. Oh I'm telling you my focus is not with it I probably just need to start over. But so anyway I wanted to dip a toe into the Tunisian crochet. And I apologize there again if I'm looking here and there and everywhere. It's just there's so much going on around me right now. So I learned the basic Tunisian stitch. Gee whiz. You might want to play me on fast forward like two times. And I made um, a scarf. And that's just the basic Tunisian stitch. It's really super, super easy. Made it with the ice yarns. Um, it's called rainbow. I think that's just, excuse me, the type of yarn, not the color. You know, because ice yarns, they go by color numbers, not names. In case anybody doesn't know that. <laughs> so that was my first little skinny scarf. I can't actually say it was my first one. I made a, a, a few of the basic stitch like this. And it just changes, you know, from all these different colorways into these grays and browns and tans and whatnot. And where's the other one? Let's see. Here's one. This one I made out of the Red Heart Unforgettable. Um, yeah. And the colorway on this one is Meadow. And it is also just, there again, the basic Tunisian stitch. And see it's all these pretty earth tony colors. Sorry if you hear the yelling in the background. Just a little skinny scarf. Fashion scarf, you know. I did switch it up just a little bit. I did, um, you know what, now that I'm looking at it, this, <laughs> I really need to start this thing over, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm just going to push on, y'all be patient with me. This is the Tunisian knit stitch. I graduated up from the basic to the knit, and then I incorporated in a little bit of the basic. Three rows of that, and as you see, I broke it up by adding three rows of the basic Tunisian stitch in between rows of the knit stitch. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, people. <laughs> Some days this is a lot harder 
than it should be. All right, here's another one that's made with ice yarns. And this one is the actual basic, one of the first ones, regular standard Tunisian stitch. So, that's it. And it looks like I have another one. And this is um, another Red Heart Unforgettable in the color of uh, Dragonfly. Yeah. So it's the same. It's really super simple. If anybody's been, you know, kind of thinking about doing it, it's not hard. You can do it. So there it is in just those beautiful Dragonfly colors. And I may run across another basic stitch one somewhere. I had a plan. I was going to show you the basic and then when I kind of graduated up to the knit stitch ones but then all that happened and I lost the order of things. <laughs> so we're going to be all out of order. <sighs> Just like I made these um, this is the Tunisian uh, knit stitch in a twisted headband and I did that one and that one. They're kind of like my, my nod to Beetlejuice and, um, oh, that guy on Nightmare Before Christmas. Zelda calls him her, her baby daddy. Oh, Lord, I can't think of the name. But anyway, you guys know who I'm talking about. Jack Skellington. This one makes me think of Jack Skellington. This one makes me think of Beetlejuice. <laughs> but they're just red heart with love. Is what I made those with. <sighs> those over there. What else do we have? Some some more Ice Yarns Rockstar. This is just uh, some that I had left over. So I made, if I can get the label off. <laughs> Looks like I've made one, two, three of the knit stitch in uh, the twisted headbands. And they're all the same. I just had, you know, I think maybe like one and a quarter balls of the Rockstar. So that's what I did with it. With those. Where do we go from here? I'm, I'm on a, I'm on a little bit, bit. I'm, I'm sitting at this really huge picnic table and, and stuff is just sprawled out everywhere. And I'm not going to try to show you every bit of it. I'm just kind of picking and choosing what to share. Some of you guys might have seen this in my, one of my more recent uh, uploads about this uh, yarn that I got at the Hobby Lobby clearance sale. It's the Yarn Bee Purely Fresh in the color Ivory. And yeah, I picked it up at the clearance sale. As you can see, it was $1.37, had been $5.49. And I thought, you know, I'm going to take a, my big, big hook and see how this will look made into a really loose, earthy, organic looking cowl. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. I just, I feel like it just, it's beautiful because it looks so natural and earthy and organic and kind of rustic. I have a hair, I have a hair somewhere, I'm trying to get in my mouth. But yeah, you see, so pretty. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, getting a little bit off of the Tunisian for a moment. Joanne's was having a sale on their um, K and C willow yarns, and so I went and grabbed a few of those, and I'll show you what I did. Matter of fact. The colors of this is ivory, oh, here we go, ivory, and dark pink, not ivory, it's called, they're calling it cream, they're calling it cream, actually. Pop off the label, 
But anyway, Joanne's had it on sale for $1.99 a ball. And uh, it is 100% acrylic with 128 yards per, per ball. And I used light pink, dark pink, and uh, that ivory color. A little bit of, you know, fun, fringy things on it. Not fringy. What do you call it? Tassels? Yeah. I can't get right. So, this is really fun to make, and it works up super, super quick. Only thing it is, it's like the V-stitch in uh, half double crochet, except I didn't chain one or two between the V's, if that makes sense. I just chained them side by side. And then when I came up with the next row, I just went in the middle. Because I didn't want it, I want it to be lacy, but I didn't want it to be real, real gapy. And so that's how it turned out. And I love these two. <laughs> and I made it. I made another one in light gray, dark teal, and turquoise. And this does have fringe. And I think I'll just leave the label on it because it, it looks exactly like the pink one that I just showed you. I've got another one. And this one is uh, done also in the KNC Willow yarn in um, dark gray, light gray, and the ivory color. So like I said, you may hear people shouting. <laughs> my, my quiet day at the park turned out to be anything but a quiet day at the park. Oh. Here we have some more Red Heart with Love metallic in taupe. And it was, I think, actually, no, it might have been one whole entire brand new skein of it. And um, that's also the, the knit stitch twisted headband. And um, looks like I made five of them. Some are a little bit wider than others. Some are a little bit longer. I think this is the widest one. But isn't that kind of cool? I'm happy with them. <laughs> I'm so happy with them. Oh, what else do I have to show? Let's see. This was another Hobby Lobby clearance yarn. Yarn B Wild Streak in Brights. And it's like a roving yarn. And it, it's kind of wild looking, but I still like it. I'll, I'll try it on for you and show you. It makes me think of like Southwest, out in Arizona type, Indian, tribal. <laughs> you guys can tell me what you think. So I made a cowl out of it. And this was mm, one skein and part of another one. Yeah, yeah. So I made a really wide cowl out of it. I'll go around and show you how the colors change up. So I know that it's really busy. It's really colorful and it's not for everybody. And I was even telling my son when I was working it up, I said, you know, if I had made this really a little bit wider, I could have entered an ugly sweater contest. <laughs> Cause let's be honest, it's kind of it's kind of wild, it's kind of crazy. But yet, I like it. I think with my black top for the winter, it's gonna look really good. Or even you know, just a plain white top. Guys, let me know what you think. <laughs> he didn't like it at all. He was like not not crazy about the busy colors in it. Whoop. And as I'm showing you this stuff, I'm taking off the labels, and now the wind wants to pick up and blow these labels everywhere because <laughs> they're not going back on, see? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. 
Okay, we have Crystal over back today just showed this just a few videos back. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Goucher, G U C H E T, is the name of the website. And the yarn, this yarn, is silk, cashmere, and I think, let's see if I can find it on here. The labels are printed up super, super light. They're kind of hard to read. Okay. They're 60% silk, 30% cashmere, and 10% acrylic, and it's really, really soft. And these little skeins, um, they have 142 yards per skein. Each skein is only uh, $2.50 for the silk and cashmere, and they're super nice. Let's see if I can get the label off. And as a side note, the cop left, so I guess he didn't need me to, didn't need to talk to me after all, so that's cool. And I bought it in three different shades, which they don't put colors on their labels either. <clears throat> but you can tell by looking at it, it's monochromatic pink peachy shades. And I just repeated them. And what I like to do, it's pretty long. So what I like to do is I, I like to um, fold it in half, and then take this end and pull this other end through it, and just get my hair out of the way. <laughs> and either you can tighten it up and wear it off to one side, like that, or you can come down and wear it kind of slouchy, which I know you guys can't really see that. But you can wear it kind of slouchy like that. Or you can not fold it in half at all. You know, just whatever you want to do with it. But yeah, Goucher. G-U-C-H-E-T. Silk, cotton, and acrylic. Super duper soft. $2.50 a ball. This was... I want to say three balls did all of this. And it's... it's really long, really long. Okay, get my hair out of my eyes, hair out of my eyes. Oh, ice, ice, I, I got another ice to show you. Something that a lot of people I don't think would look at this yarn and know instinctively what to do with it. But I wanted to try. Huh. This is the ice yarns, um, Mustang cotton, did I not just say that? <laughs> and there's another one of my hairs. I crochet everything with love and a little bit of my own hair. See, it's a really thin cotton. Really thin, I don't know if you're able to see that. But I love it. It's, um, looks like it's cut off. They've cut it off. It looks like it's 94% cotton and 28% polymide. And it is a cream color. <clears throat> Take that label off. I may have to cough. Oh, throat's getting dry. Whose pattern did I follow? Whose tutorial did I use? I can't remember. Don't you just love it when that happens? Actually, I think it is supposed to go this way. This is what happens when you make and make and make and you throw it all in a box and throw it all in a box and you never get around to showing it. <laughs> you forget what you've been doing. So that's the design. And I wish I could tell you whose tutorial, but I, I really cannot remember. And it's a scarf also or a wrap, however you want to wear it. It's fairly <laughs> fairly long and I'm over here dropping things on the ground dropping things on the ground <laughs> and I, I really really like it and I gotta try to pick up this stuff 
Give me just a moment. Okay. Back to the Tunisian knit stitch again. I had, um, oh, you guys know what this yarn is. Uh, I had it on my mind right before I started to re-record. And, um, it's a cow. Twisted there again, just like the headbands were. Oh my gosh. I need to just buy a bottle of wine and go home. <laughs> uh, b -b 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 bear with me. Hold on. <sighs> For Pete's sake, my camera fell over. Shawl in a ball. <laughs> Shawl in a ball. I don't have the label, but it sucks. The soothing blues, I, I think, is what it was. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, girl. Red Heart with Love Metallic. Another twisted uh, headband in the Tunisian knit stitch. And my camera's blinking at me, so this may have to be 